everybody, it's Bonkai922. Well, took a while, but the fairy tale chapter went out. As you can tell by my expression, I'm just going to say it right now, right here. Five out of five. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. Five out of five. I'm not joking around. Five out of five. This was... I think this chapter was better than last week's. I think so. But anyway, let's get into it. Okay, I got the pet chapter right here. 284. Um, uh, really, the beginning chapter page, we get, you know, whole thing with uh, Old T, Meridi, and Jalal going right along. Get other color pages so on and so forth. When we get to the main story, we see Yukino from last week, you know, when she told Natsu the whole thing about Saber 2, blah blah blah. And you know, she's walking around and she's hearing people say about, you know, that there was a commotion, someone attacked Sabretooth. Saying, what kind of moron is that? And they say, oh, let's live it up. And then and then she's then Yukino's in the end of the page says, Natsu Sama? It couldn't be, right? And we move on from there. From that and it's the third day now. And this is actually interesting. What I like about this arc is, um, Hero is bringing in old characters from past. Like, he's he already brought in Milana, um, you know, she's part of Mermaid Heel. And in this chapter, he's brought in people from the Magical, the Magic Council. Yeah, people from the Magic Council. Um... And it's saying, you know, their day, you know, Grand Magic has finally entered the middle portion of the competition here on the third day. And they're saying, and then he says, go BC today. And it says, today's guest is La Lahar San from the Magic Council. That's the guy who went up, you know, he's part of, you know, he was part of the, the head of, of the, the, the knights. But now it's part of the Magical Council. Yeah, he's there, and he's with um, the guy who pretended to be messed. So he's there too, and we see a picture of him. And he says, "Man," and he's saying to himself, "Oh, Lahir, you're making me come here." And then Lahir's saying to him, "You want to see Fairy Tale alive and well, right?" And he says, "You know, like like shugging it off." And then we're going on the third day, called Pandemonium. Now, Urza volunteers. Fairy tale A, Urza, for this competition part. So we got Urza, and for fairy tale B, they decided to go with Kana because Mystigan is not there. Moving right along, we figured who else is going to be. And kind of like saying, since the guest judge is a magical council member, he can't come out, right? That's true. That's the why he's not coming out. And Miliana. She's going to be in this competition as well. And then she says, I won't lose your charm, you know. And she says, I have to concentrate. And everybody's looking at her and saying, oh, it's Milana. She entered a guild. And we look at who else is in this. Obra. Obra. From every tale. Oh, yeah. Watch out for this motherfucker. He's going to be good. Obra. Obra. From every tale. He's going to be in the competition. And the other guy who's who's the head of the, 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 the team is saying to him, we're in front of the council member. Don't do anything unnecessary, Obra. And then we also notice that Hibiki is going from Pegasus. But Pegasus is going to be in it. And Orga. So Obra from Raventail. And Orga from Sabretooth. 
And then Argus like saying, oh, go, I'll turn everything into black lightning chili. And then was the relationship now with Rogue and Sting is on rocky grounds. Because we see Ro we see Sting saying, do whatever you want. If Natsu Dragon isn't coming out, I don't care. And then the last but not least, Jura. He's going to be in this competition. And uh, it was uh, Bababa, their, their guild master, saying that he leave it to me. And he says, okay. And it's the same guy we got before, the pumpkin guy. He's doing this. So, thing happens where this humongous castle, and also this guy from Cotro Puppy, Novala, called Pandemonium. It's basically a humongous, gigantic castle. And it's where the pumpkin guy is telling them that's where the monsters are in. They have to fight monsters. It's like a monster's nest. And the explanation, and Kana says, it's huge! The explanation is that within the temple, there are a hundred monsters. And the monsters are divided into five levels. D, C, B, A, and S. S being the most highest and most powerful of the monsters. And just to give... In, and he says, in, incidentally, the regards of the kind of strength that D-class monsters have, they show a film of what a D-class monster looks like and what he can do. It's not good. Ones like that, and even stronger ones than that, they place where a hundred of them are looking around. That is Pandemonium, Pumpkin. So, these monsters are very powerful. That's the gist of it. And he says, the S-Class monster is so strong, such that even one of the ten wizard saints couldn't be guaranteed to defeat it. So, this is pretty intense. It's only one monster, though, so... So, he's saying about how the challenge would work, um, that... It's a big explanation. I might do another video on this just to get the whole details of it. Um, everyone will select a number to decide who will go first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. And you will also have to choose how many monsters you want to fight. So, and the competition will end when all 100 monsters are defeated. And, you know, and depending on... And this is going to be in random order, so you're not going to know what kind of monster you're fighting. It could be uh, S level, D level, A, B, A level, B level, you don't know. Moving right along. And each monster, I believe, is worth, uh, that can make it three points if they defeated a monster. So, and that's the whole bit about it. And, um, becomes quite important what, you know, how much magic you have, and so on and so forth. Oh, moving right along. And the points are given for the amount of number of mo defeated monsters, with no regards to the monster's rank. Once you've entered the temple, you'll be able to withdraw until you've won. And, and Khan is asking, oh, what will happen if you go down in the temple? Whatever amount you've, you've, you've accumulated while in the temple, how many you defeated, that goes with you, even if you even if you're defeated. So everyone draws lots, and not you see happy talking about it, and it's really about how magic recovery as well, and so on and so forth. So number one, Urza gets number one. You're lucky. I'll go back to being your turn the most, and that's when it happens. The most. I've never seen, yeah, I've been watching this show since, never seen Urza do this. This was, this is the exact reason why Urza, in my opinion, this is one of the reasons why I like Fairy Tale. This is probably the number one reason why I like Fairy Tale, because of Urza. So, what does she do? 
She says, oh, I was thinking the competition w would all come down to the luck of the draw. The luck of the draw? I should have put this. It's a manner of... It's a game where maintaining your pace and situational judgment are more important than, uh, than just in the bat order of battle. No. With this, it's no longer a game. I, all a hundred, all a hundred will be my opponents. My challenge right will be a hundred. Urza is going to fight a hundred monsters. And everyone's like, what the fuck? It's like, what the fuck moment? Everyone in the stadium is like, what, are you out of your mind? And here's the best part of after she says that is not suing Gray. They're just laughing their ass off. I just love that part. When they, Natsu's laughing and Gray's laughing to suggest that's our Urza. And she's that's impossible. It's not set up that no one person can possibly defeat the ball. I don't care. And then you see um we see Levy and she says, the Grand Magic Tournament, Grand Magic Games, Day Three, Pandemonium. I think I'll never forget the events of this day as she becomes covered with wound, wounds, the fairy that should have fallen to earth dances. Here is Titania. Now you just get this spread. And this spread is on my desktop right here, computer, of all these monsters around Earth, and she's just battling them. Oh my god. And then we get another page after that with, um, Everyone's faces, and you see Kagura, and she's like, Ugh. and he got it. Sting's speechless. Everyone is speechless. Not too smiling and everything. And she's just knocking these monsters down. All of them. She defeated a hundred monsters. And I like this page, page 22. We see the guy who, who pretended to be messed. He's crying. And it says at the bottom, almost like a scarlet flower blooming fully with pride. And you just get this epic glass page thing with Urza holding her sword in the air. And it says, unbelievable. Somehow by a single person, all 100 monsters have been defeated. A noble spirit is the proof of existence. Is the true strength of the guild said to be strongest seven years ago. And then at the bottom it says, continued in chapter 285, MPF. Five out of five, I can't say anything else. She is the reason. Yes, I said it. The reason. Why fairy tale, in my opinion, is great. Lucy's good and all, Natsu's good. But Urza, just being dominant and being this, this, this overpowering female... That can kick ass. You do not get that in Naruto. I don't want to bring up Naruto, but you don't get that in a lot of shows. Name one character in Bleach that does that. The only show that you get that in, One Piece. And that's why I like Fairy Tale. That's the number one reason this character kicks ass. Five out of five, motherfuckers. Just an epic. I think this was better. I'm five out of five. I think this was better than last week's. I'm sorry, Natsu. Gotta go with Urza this time. Better than last week's. Better than last week's. Done you right now. Um, what'd you guys think? You know, uh, kind of long video here because I had to explain everything. Um, what'd you guys think about this chapter? Urza. I'm just gonna call it Urza. For the motherfucking win. Let's call it Pandemonium. Urza for the motherfucking win. Urza is boss. That's all I need to say. It's Bankai 922, Fairy Tale Review, chapter 284. Urza for the motherfucking win. Totally boss. I think she upstaged Natsu, to be honest with you. I think so. Tell me what you guys think. Comments below. You know the story. Comment, rate, and subscribe. See you guys later.